All right, guys, so I've been visiting family the last couple weeks, hence the different background. We are back to the plain white background. That is something I'm working on in the short term here. Hopefully we'll have uh, something a little bit more visually appealing than the plain white wall in the near future. Um, first story I wanted to get into today, you guys probably saw that there was a car that drove through um, protesters in New York City. Um, it has been revealed that this was a cop. Uh, this was a police car escorting far-right protesters through the other protesters. Um, so David Dole did a fantastic breakdown of this where he showed the footage um, zoomed in on on matching the license plate um, of two different videos, right? So I'll post that in the description box. You guys can go watch that at your leisure. Um, essentially what happened is um, the car that drove through those protesters, the footage we first saw was of that happening. Um, there's footage pretty shortly before that happened of um, police essentially loading, uh, you know, Trump supporters into that car um, and the license plate is matched and then you see the car drive off um, towards the protesters. So NYPD originally said that they had investigated and that it was not a police car. Um, <laughs> just, they lie. They, all, they just outright lie. Um, anyway, um, so I guess one officer has been fired. I presume that the officer fired is the one that was actually driving the car, but I do not know for sure. Um, you know, it's, it's just really something else. They continue to reveal, um, just so many hypocrisies here. First of all, amongst peaceful protesters, who's instigating the violence? The cop driving through them is instigating the violence, right? But then if something erupted because of that, they would be quick to point at the protesters and say, look at the violent, rioting, looting protesters, right? After they instigate it, right? So often that is the case. So often that is the case. And then they lie, just outright lie. How often? The Buffalo police incident that I brought up a few times where they shove an old man down and he cracks his head open and all the cops lie on the report and say he tripped and fell, right? Where's the good apple? Show me the good apple. Where's the good apple in this video that, that, again, I'll post in the description box, where these cops line up and make a wall to protect the Trump supporters from the other protesters getting close to them, right? St wall of cops. Not, not, not the same respect shown for the Black Lives Matter protesters for some reason, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Could it be that the cops maybe have some sort of a, you know, some sort of a stake in this? Huh. Um, so once again, New York City police caught in a in a really brazen lie um once again caught brutalizing protesters once again caught being completely hypocritical uh in terms of how they treat protesters based upon the ideology and the message that those protesters are trying to espouse um you know escorting the trump supporters through the crowd of black lives matter supporters and instigating violence on the black lives matter supporters at the behest of the trump supporter i mean you just can't make this shit up you can't make this shit up um, so, you know, this is yet another reason that we need to abolish police and start from scratch. This is yet another reason that we need to keep the pressure up and not fold when it comes to these protests and the culture war and all this stuff that kind of, um, has erupted in the last handful of months. Uh, shame on NYPD, uh, abolish police immediately.